okay now we will see at the rate override annotation purpose in java applications if you want to understand at the rate override annotation first we need to understand what exactly the meaning of method overriding method overriding is a process of replacing existing method functionality with new functionality that means method overriding is a process of replacing superclass method functionality with the subclass method functionality for example i have taken db driver db driver is i have taken there as per my previous requirements i have taken a method public void get to driver method i have taken now inside this just i have used as per my previous requirement system dot out dot println of type one driver we have used previously as per my previous functionality get to driver method is providing type one driver information as for my new requirement i don't want to use type one driver where i want to use type four driver so for the purpose i'll go for new db driver is a child class i have taken for db driver class now inside this db driver class i need to declare same superclass method with a different implementation part public void get a driver method we have used now here system dot out dot printer and off previous functionality is type one driver but present functionality what i am going to use is a type four driver type one driver is a old functionality but we don't want to use type one driver in our applications so we want to use type four driver got this is about overriding completed next one i need to take test class in a test class public static void main string array args if we want to prove method overriding we must create object for subclass but we must create reference variable for superclass after this we must access superclass method but we need to get output from subclass method so as a first step i need to declare db driver reference variable driver superclass reference variable i declare here i must create object for the child class that is new new db driver class object we created so here reference variable is for superclass and object is created for subclass so with this reference variable if we class with this reference variable if we call get a driver method automatically jvm will call superclass method but as per method overriding we are able to get output from subclass method now we can understand it clearly superclass we have taken get a driver method we have taken where the implementation part is which one type one driver as per our requirement i have taken a subclass for this uh, superclass now inside this subclass same superclass method is implemented with a, a new implementation part that is type four driver to prove method overriding we have created object for child class but reference variable must be created for superclass where by using superclass reference variable we are calling superclass method but we must get output from subclass method let me say this now in a d drive in a d drive <coughs> like uh, I am going to prepare a new folder. That new folder is Durga Apps. I prepared that. Durga Apps. Now inside this, I am going to take Test.java. 
right, replace root, next, I need to open command prompt, now in command prompt, I have to go for location, cd, durga apps, uh, let me compile java c test.java compiled successfully java test execute it now see this we are getting output from subclass method we are calling superclass method but we are getting output from subclass method so this is method overriding concept now in method overriding where we are able to use at the rate override annotation where we can use it in which situation we are going to use it observe this one in the case of method overriding just a superclass method name is get driver subclass method name is same method get driver my intention of providing this program is override superclass method with the subclass method but unfortunately while writing subclass method name, by having overlook, I have given some spelling mistake. In place of capital D, I have written small d. This is a mistake what I have done, unfortunately, in my program, without having any intimation for me, without having any intention by the developer. Some spelling mistake is available. Now, in this case, I will compile and execute this program there. Compiled successfully, no error, and executed. But you are getting output is from which one there? Superclass method. This is failure case of method overriding. This is clearly a failure case of method overriding. Now, in a Java program, I want to represent this a failure case of method overriding by providing an error message to the user. Whenever method overriding is failure because of small small spelling mistakes in our subclass method where I want to get some intimation from program to the developer. Some intimation is in some error message I am expecting to generate to give clarity. Now this is method overriding failure case now. To give this type of notification to the user we have to use at the rate overwrite annotation yes this is method level annotation just above of the subclass method we have to use this annotation at the rate override annotation we have to provide now in this case again still we are getting mistake spelling mistake in our child class method now in the super class d is capital but in the child class d is small now i want to get some error message in this particular situation Compile this one. Now we are getting an error message. See this error message now? Method does not exist. Method does not override or implement a method from a super type that we are getting information on. So what is the internal concept related to at the rate override annotation? When we provide at the rate override annotation over subclass method, compiler will read subclass method name compiler will go to superclass where it will check at all the methods whether subclass method name is existed with any of the superclass method name, name or not if subclass method name is available with any of the superclass method then compiler will understand overriding environment is very clear so compiler will not raise any error if subclass method name is not available with any of the method inside the superclass then definitely compiler will decide this case is a method overriding failure case so definitely compiler will raise an error clearly so in this scenario we are able to utilize which one at the rate override annotation so let us say for example we have provided at the rate override annotation at the same time i have given capital D, same name of the superclass, superclass method, same name of the superclass method name and subclass method name, both are same I provided, at the same time I have used at the rate overhead annotation. Now in this scenario, we will not get any compilation error, because it is a success case of the method overriding, we can execute it, we will get output. So by this we can have one conclusion, if your program is proper, even if we provide annotation, 
the denotation will not give any effect to our program whenever our program is not proper whenever we provided the respective annotation then only annotation will provide some kind of message or error message or warning or notification to the respective user so in the case of this uh, method overriding it is very much common very much frequent to use which one at the rate override annotation in order to get an error message whenever we have some spelling mistakes in our subclass method name as part of method overriding that's all this is clear cut information about at the rate override annotation that's all now we will discuss about the second annotation that will be at the rate suppress warnings annotation to understand suppress warnings annotation first we need to understand unchecked operations unsafe operations we are going to perform in java applications what is untype unsafe operations which you are performed here untype operation which we performed there now for example if you take collections collection is an object it able to store a group of other objects collections in general are able to store heterogeneous objects not like only homogeneous objects they are able to store heterogeneous objects whenever collection objects are allowing heterogeneous objects automatically type safety is not available with the collection objects whenever type safe operations are not performed then immediately compiler will generate some warning messages but we will see one case about it no for example i have taken class bank i have taken there now inside this class bank i want to get all the customer details right for example i will use public array list get customers details get customers details a method we can use this is a get getter method a get customers details i want to get all the account holders details here this it will create the array list object and it able to return the array list object clearly array list al is equal to new array list al dot add of ae one customer name al dot add of bbb another customer name al dot add of ccc another customer name al dot add of dd the last customer name after preparing array list object is a collection object by adding all the elements finally i want to return array list reference so if we access get customers details from bank a list of customers we are able to get from this is my bank class and where get customers details method what we provided next one in a class test in a main method i want to create object for bank bank b is equal to new bank now bank bank small bank is equal to new bank now i want to access array list list is equal to just i want to get bank dot get customers details method you are able to use automatically we are able to get list of values that list of values i want to display system dot out dot print in of list i want to display this is about our requirement here now understand this here two methods we have used here first method is which one get customers details now here also in the main method also we have used a array list now in both the cases wherever we have used array list now there we are not specifying any parameter type or a generic type without specifying parameter type or generic type if we use collections then definitely the top operation is unsafe operation or type safe it is not type safe operation there unchecked operation we are performing there so definitely compiler will raise some warning messages because of this unchecked operation what you are performing now let us see compilation and some warning messages there 
just we need to provide import statement import java dot util dot star right java c test dot java we are getting some warning message we can read out this warning message now not test dot java uses unchecked or unsafe operations adding elements to the collections without specifying parameter type or generic type that operation is unsafe operation or unchecked operation that's why we are getting warning messages here now now your my requirement is which one in this particular scenario i want to suppress the warning messages which are generated from this particular method i want to hide the warning messages i want to remove the warning messages there for the purpose we need to use at the rate suppress warnings annotation where we need to provide value attribute value that is which one unchecked we need to provide like this we need to provide but remember this now we have specified this suppress warnings annotation for only which method there no get a customers details method because here itself we are using array list number of times we are providing array list object and all the things we are returning that definitely warning messages are going to be raised that warning messages are want to be suppressed remember it in main method also we have provided some array list some kind of manipulation here also we are not specifying any suppress warnings annotation but let us check this one what is going on now or we are going to get uh, any warning message or no warning message here we can identify now in this case we are not getting any warning message and we are able to get list of items clearly by this we can understand to suppress the warning messages which are generated by a particular method we need to use at the rate suppress warnings annotation this is the purpose of this one we can identify fine